This morning in Ann Arbor, where uh, Brady Hoke and uh, his staff, he's the football coach, uh, are under fire in their fourth season. Their record on the field keeps getting worse, but worse now. Uh, a drama that unfolded Saturday in the game against Minnesota and yesterday in the annual Monday sort of press conference that goes on with Brady Hoke. Brady Hoke um, said he didn't know his own quarterback had a head injury, a mild concussion during the 30-14 to 14 loss to Minnesota, and he's been criticized for leaving that player in the game, putting him back in the play for game for one play, even though it was just a handoff. And here's what Brady Hoke said yesterday about his critics. Should be some criticism, you know, when we talk about the performance, and that's me and coaching. I understand that. But when your integrity and character is attacked, I don't, I think that is really unwarranted. You bet, Coach, did you know about the concussion? We would never, ever put a guy on the field when there's a possibility with head drama. So what happened is, while that was going on, the athletic director, David Brandon, essentially Brady Hoke's boss, was working on an investigation, checking out what happened, and at 1 in the morning last night, 1 in the morning, released a statement about Michigan football's handling of sophomore quarterback Shane Morris and his head injury. Brandon said he's had numerous meetings since Sunday morning to review the situation, and he determined that members of Michigan's coaching staff and medical staff didn't properly communicate. Uh, in the statement, he says, in my judgment, there was a serious lack of communication that led to confusion on the sideline. And this confusion created a circumstance that wasn't in the best interest of one of our student athletes. I sincerely apologize for the mistakes that we made. We have to learn from the situation and we'll make important changes so we can fully live up to our shared goal of putting student athlete safety first. And uh, Brandon says the responsibility for the health and safety of Michigan student-athletes resides with each team's coach and with himself, uh, the athletic director. Um, Diagnosed with a probable mild concussion and a high ankle sprain, uh, the quarterback was, Shane Morris. And if you watched him in the game, he was getting just demolished by the defense. And uh, the television announcers were, I don't even know who they were, but they were all up in arms about this. Now, the trick of it is, if you read Nick Baumgartner's column in M Live, he thinks Brady Hoke uh, was sent into that press conference in a no-win situation because he was unprepared, unsupported, and uh, that uh, David Brandon threw Brady Hoke under the bus, hung him out to dry. Hoke said he couldn't make any comments on what kind of medical attention Morris received on the sideline instead deferring to a statement he thought the staffers would be putting out later in the day. And he said to his knowledge, Morris was not diagnosed with a concussion. And Hoke said he hadn't had a conversation with David Brandon about the situation before he walked into the press conference. That's hard to believe. Well, Tony Cuthbert and the orchestra, David Brandon is saying that he, that, that, that he did a sort of a little investigation for two, two days and that they were talking and so forth. But... um. Not a very good sign. The press conference was, in part, embarrassing for Brady Hoke. Not one question was asked about this uh, upcoming game against Rutgers. Every single question Ooh. in the press conference was about the Shane Morris, and Brady Hoke deflected every single question, saying a report would come out later in the day. And there was no report. It was David Brandon that ended up uh, talking about what you have right there. And apologizing. Yeah. Hey, so which quarterback is going to start next Saturday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody asked that. It's up in the air. I want to know. But put, uh, I want to know if he's going back in. Because they're going to Rutgers, is that right? Yeah, Rutgers. Man, we'll see what happens. Michigan's an underdog, of course. To Rutgers? <laughs> how, how the mighty have fallen, right?